Hi everyone, this is Brendan here and welcome to my next episode, day 15 of my Let's Clash series. So today is just going to be a very short uh, update to you guys. So first of all, I upgraded and researched my wizard, wizard getting them to level 2. So that's really awesome, trying to get them to the max level possible, which is level 6. So once they reach to level 6, I'll be able to use a Govi wipe and then eventually be able to play some clan wars to show you guys some really awesome clan war raids. And then eventually one of my barrack, it completed the upgrade and then I removed a uh, an obstacle so I got six gems from the bush and now proceeding into removing another obstacle so as you can see there's a gem box on the bottom right so I'll be removing that later so for those of you guys who do not know an obstacle actually sprouts once every eight hours and if you do not have any space available like if your uh, base is very packed and then especially if you are a town hall 10 and then you spread your walls in such a way whereby it uh, accumulate up to your whole entire base you won't be able to have a obstacle uh, being sprout very often that's why it's uh, better to have your uh, walls and everything all compact together if you want to get more gems from removing of the obstacles. So yeah, getting 25 gems from the gem box, that was really nice. So we are a few steps closer to our 1000 gems to get the fourth builder. So doing the next upgrade, upgrading the barrack to level 7. And with two barracks being upgraded at the same time and only one barrack available for me to use, I didn't do many raids today. So this is just one of the raids that I'd like to show you guys, uh, these 3 stars on this Town Hall 6. So going ahead with the attack, I decided to drop the troops around the corners first to take out the exposed structures, eventually deploying my uh, barbarians and archers in a multi-touch gesture uh, manner as I usually how I deploy. And then eventually just tearing through the base, deploying my clan castle with the wizards inside. So level 6 wizards, they do a lot of damage. At the same time, their HP is very high to tank off the damage for the rest of my archers. And then eventually once they broke through the wall, they went in and then they took out the defenses really quickly. So the Archers on the top left, as you can see, they took out the cannon and eventually taking out the wizard tower. And then the wizards, they just uh, follow up behind uh, doing more damage. And also wizards, they do splash damage. So if like the clan castle were to come out with a group of barbarians, the wizard just have to take one shot and all the barbarians would get uh, taken out. It's a similar um, way of taking out troops uh, like Valkyries. So next time, I might show you guys some uh, replays with Valkyries. I might be showing you guys um, some Valkyries uh, farming, maybe using like uh, my uh, Barbarian Archers with uh, some Valkyries and Witches to farm for uh, resources, provided I have uh, excess uh, Dark Elixir to use. So that's a strategy that I used uh, last time to farm my walls to max walls. It was a very fast strategy getting around 2.2 to 2.4 million gold per hour, whereby last time I could only use gold to upgrade walls. So yeah, that's it for this uh, particular episode. I can't show you guys uh, much things. So I will update you guys in the following episode. Hope you guys will stay tuned for it. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.